If you love God, prove it. I believe there is a demon or demons of confusion. I believe that. Now, I don't believe I have any scripture saying, yes, there are, there is a demon or demons of confusion. I don't believe I have that, but I believe there are those type of demons. Let's say you have a mind to serve God. Let's say you are grouping up with other people who have a mind to serve God. Do you believe that demons are going to be thrilled with that? Do you believe that demons are going to be accepting of that? So what do you believe they are going to do. I believe they are going to try to stop it. Some people may know that we are in a spiritual war. If you know that, why, why would you believe that demons are not going to attack back? Why would you believe that demons are not going to try to break up any good or godly relationship you have. Let's say you are attacking the enemy. Let's say you are throwing rocks, bricks, and other things at their camp or whatever. Do you believe the enemy is going to stand idle? Do you believe that they are going to sit back and say, hey, <laughs> continue attacking me, please? I believe they are going to attack back, right? I believe so. So if you have a mind to serve God and those other people have a mind to serve God and you all are grouping up together, why would you allow demons to break that up? <laughs> Think about that. something happened there was an issue and I could tell that there was confusion there was a misunderstanding And some thoughts came to my mind. In summary, this is what I believe I was thinking. Kevin, if you continue to message that person about this issue, that person is not going to receive you. That person is not going to accept what you say. So I believe I prayed before the first message and I was going to message again, but 
I did not. And I believe I prayed one or two more times after the first time. Not even a day passed. Maybe it took a day, maybe. And the issue got solved. I don't blame that person. That person is not my enemy. Those demons of confusion are my enemy. Listen. Please listen. In some cases, especially when we are doing, let me say this. In some cases, I believe we have to place our feelings in the back seat. I don't believe it is always okay to react emotionally all the time. In some cases, in all cases, <laughs> if there is an issue, we should pray about it. I believe sometimes our words can make things worse. Listen, if there is a demon of confusion causing confusion and misunderstandings, wouldn't Talking about it more increase the confusion? So using, perhaps, maybe, I believe using natural means can't defeat a demon. <laughs> if it is a demon causing the confusion, why would you use natural effort, I guess you can say, to solve the issue? I believe it would make more sense to pray about it. Perhaps fast or do other spiritual things, right? Yes, maybe in some cases you can talk about it with other people and you may be able to solve the issue. But what if your words <laughs> are making things worse? Let's say you are 100% correct, but that person is not willing to receive you. What are you going to do then? Continue to talk about it? I believe there are demons of confusion. We have to understand that. I believe some godly relationships break up over insignificant things, man. Small stuff. I believe, ah. So, we need to pray. Prayer helped me. It solved my issue with another person. So, let's pray. God bless you. Make sure you are showing love to other people. God bless you.